All right, guys, we're back to another Dokkan battle video. So we have the Gammas and Beast Gohan in the game. I'm just going to showcase them both uh, at 55% Link 1 together because I just want to just get right into Link leveling. And I figured we we're going to want to be running these guys on the same team regardless. So we could showcase them Link 10 uh, separately. But for the, just the Link 1 video, we'll go ahead and just do them together, right? So you can go ahead and see. They're all just very low links. The only per person who just... I, like, I was literally just running them on the team to get like a little head start uh, while doing their Dokkan events. But you can see like we, we just barely have anything. We are not running Physical Beasts. Get out of here. Uh, let me just go ahead and pull up the um, S tier Beast. We can just run a second one, right? We're going to have the video... Or sorry, the music off for the entirety. But let me go ahead and we're going to turn off the battle game music. We'll have the sound effects turned on. The main reason why is because I do want to play the um, the music as much as possible, but unfortunately, they hate us. They just do not like the fact that, um, well, they, they hate YouTubers because there's no, like, uh, I don't want, like, uh, what is it called? Copyrighted music playing. There's, like, no option for that, so I, I have to just kind of mute it. Because if I don't, then obviously copyright strikes and all that stuff, and we don't want to do that. Uh, that's not good. I guess we'll just do that. But yeah, uh, obviously Beast Gohan Gammas are amazing. They are just uh, insane. Uh, of course, we obviously get Gammas. And I just noticed that we got Gammas and uh, Gohans all on the same rotation. This really sucks. <laughs> but it, it is what it is. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll have the voices playing in on, on during the active skills and all that. But I, I do hope you guys can understand that like I just can't unfortunately play the OSTs uh, unless I have, have to be doing a lot of editing and I'm kind of on vacation right now. So <laughs> anyway, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken getting an 11 million attack stat. This isn't going to be a guaranteed crit because we didn't get a 24 key, but it's okay. We did get, uh, you know, a couple attacks and that's pretty good. So this is good because Gammas are going to get the... Um, not only they're going to be able to get the super attack, but they're also going to get all the int orbs. We're just going to go ahead and check that real quick. So remember that gammas are going to be getting the uh, middle spot right here. They're going to get an additional 30% crit chance and additional two super attacks. And uh, it's 12% crit chance. No, wait, no, no. It's 30% with, with each int orb we get. So this will be a guaranteed crit right here from the gammas. Which is good because uh, not only are we going to need the, the attacks, but we're also going to need the crit just to see how much damage they can do, of course. Beast Gohan uh, doesn't have a lot of links up right now, which makes sense. Uh, so this is completely fine. We also didn't get hit. So it is what it is. But hey, look, yeah, look at that. We're already at like a, a 10 million attacks after getting hit like two or three times. We also would have got an additional super attack had we had gotten hit first. But remember that the, the additional super attacks do not matter as much as the 18 key does. The 18 key will raise our attack infinitely. The 12 key will just raise it temporarily. It'll just raise it for the turn. So as long as we get the 18 key, which is insanely easy to get, it truly does not matter. Here we get the additional super attacks. All of these should be guaranteed crits. Yeah. Obviously, Gammas are insane, but Beast Gohan is even more insane. The thing that you definitely need to remember as well is that Beast Gohan is going to be the main character of this team for sure but that doesn't mean that gammas aren't going to just be right up there with him a lot of a lot of the thing that i feel like people just really underrate is gammas aren't even are are either pushed out or like just not even close to top 10 anymore on jp but you want to know what you're still going to be using these guys and the reason why is just because even though they're not the best in terms of the, how, how their kits are that support is still insane we go into uh literally any single part of this character is passive at any single point. They're giving three key to almost all of the top def uh, teams in the game. We got superheroes. We got joint forces. Defenders of justice. All of these teams are going to get insane. And guess what? You don't have any of those teams. We go ahead and go check on, on the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. When we're doing the standby, their 18 key will give a 50% defense buff for one turn. We go ahead and pop the Gamma 1 as soon as possible. Guess what? Uh, like how I was talking about before, we get 50% defense for two turns to all super class allies. But again, uh, I feel like a lot of people just are heavily underrating this character right now. 
and i get it you know we have broly we have beast we have gogeta we have all these characters who do a lot of different things but that doesn't mean that what the gammas are doing isn't also extremely good i think every single character is well designed even if it means that uh that like gammas and stuff just aren't going to be that top character but that's okay like i said you don't need to be a top character to be good not only that but the leader skill is obviously amazing too Excuse me. Okay, I see our UI Goku getting a 14 million attack set basically. We needed some dodges from this boy, of course. Uh, you have a 70% chance to dodge, little bro. Thank you. Okay, Physical Gogeta is going to show up on his next appearance and then you're going to be able to transform into blue immediately. That is also something to think about with this team. I feel like Gogeta's stocks uh, really are just really nice. Just because of the fact that uh, the Super Heroes team has it where like every single person want, uh, can be ran in slot 1 or 2. And you want to run them in slot 2. But Gogeta's like the only one where you're also able to just... Or are incentivized to put him in slot 3. So it incentivizes that uh, even more. So again, I'll let the animations play, but... Um, I, you know what? I'll just have to edit it. You know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll take that little extra period. Let me go ahead and, and put in the music for a second. Number one, keep that guy busy to buy me some time. Number two, are you gonna? I'll, I'll edit it, but let's go ahead and turn that back down. Uh, but yeah, I'll edit it just because we're not. Um, so remember that even as uh, just Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, now we're going to have the extra damage reduction. Uh, Beast Gohan is obviously just going to look incredible up there at this entire fight. He just needs to get hit 8 times or to super or do a, uh, attack 5 times to get like his extra damage reduction and, and crit chance buff. Uh, Gammas now have the 50% uh, damage reduction. We also get uh, the additional attacks still for getting AGL or STR orbs. If we get into still incentivized because we get additional super attacks guaranteed, all that good stuff. Let's just go ahead and do this though. And we can do this. I probably should have got the extra rainbow orb, but it, it's okay. So Beast Gohan is going to have a 80% crit chance, I believe, right here. Uh, this should be 80. Yeah. Because we got hit twice, and then we got the... Um, we got hit twice, and then we already have 40%, I believe, at the start of the turn. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay, so remember... We aren't going to get guaranteed crits, but it's going to be, I uh, probably, well, yeah, I was about to say, like, a 50% chance to crit right there. Uh, this is Piccolo's second appearance, so he still has guard. I'm still going to want to put SCRU, uh, Beast Gohan in slot 1. We'll put Tech Piccolo in slot 2 so we can get his super attack in first, and then we can get SCRU on his 18 key right there. Again, this is just going to be another 80% crit chance right here. Actually, no, this is 100% because he gives crit support when he does the unit super attack. Almost forgot about that. 9.4 million, not bad. Ah, uh, additional normal. Yeah, guys, uh, is is unable to attack due to fear. Why am I not surprised? Oh, he's not guarding. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was his second appearance or not. We might have actually broken the attack for S Terry Or Tech UI, I mean. 
Yeah, we might have broke the super attack. That's funny. Alright, let's go ahead and do... Well, no matter what, we should transform into Fizz Gogeta. Well, I... I... Hmm. Oh, well. I'm still so disappointed that they made they made the KO screen for that. They just turned it into a, a um, the support memory and said, "This is the reason why I just don't like support memories in terms of scenes that they don't need to make it into that." Because that's so stupid to have it where that's not a KO screen, like when Gamma Two dies. <laughs> That could have just been easily a KO screen. And they're like, nope, actually, we're gonna make it into an Ash Apart memory. Alright, this is fine. It does suck we weren't able to 18 key with Gamma 1 just because we would have gotten the 50% defense support for two turns. But does anyone really need it? <laughs> no. I guess a tech pickle could could have used it, but he has. He has um type advantage, so he's fine. Alright, so we are going to skip this. And the reason why is just because we're gonna literally play the animation and then he's just going to get stunned anyways. So it's just not gonna be worth it. <laughs> I don't wanna play it and then you know, it doesn't even matter, right? It sucks that we were able to Oh wait. No one key shy, one key shy. We'll just do it like this for the extra crit chance. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot that they get the extra key when getting hit. I thought for sure that he was gonna get super attack right at the start, if I'm being honest. Either way, this is still a cool animation. Yeah, broke the attack as well. Get the 11 million. No! We dodge. I already dodge. Yeah, I was about to say we're fine anyways. <laughs> Wait, how? Why did that guy build dodge? Now I'm now I'm scared. Why did that guy build dodge on beast? I used to get some pretty nice attack sets from Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken, and Vegeta. Alright, let's go ahead and do this again. Again, I'll just assume that he's probably going to be doing the super attack right at the start. This is where Gamma 1 looks insane, by the way, because remember... Every single int orb that he gets is just going to give him even more damage reduction right at the bottom. Any int or SCR key screw is going to get him damage reduction up to 50%. He also gets an additional 15% just regularly. And then he'll get an additional 15% as well when his HP is 30% or more. So you can get up to 80% damage reduction on this character once you are able to get all of the key screws that you do need, of course. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. I hate this guy. Now I can understand why he put dodge in beast. No, I can't. Why did you do that? Still hitting these <laughs> insane attack stats <laughs> when they're just normals is insane. I don't actually remember if you can still get guaranteed crits on Gamma 1. I'm pretty sure you can. Let me just double check that. Uh, let's see. You get... 
Yeah, you can get up to 100% crit chance with five key spheres. Okay. Okay, I swear you are. I'm popping in the big attack stats now, too. If only his. I would have been so much happier instead of his being Universe 7 if his was also superheroes like Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. I'm surprised they made it half seas like that. They should have just made it where it was the other one. Let's go ahead and pop this active skill and just be done with it today, though. But yeah, obviously this team is very fun. It's just going to be very easy to win when we literally just have all of these uh, target mechanics that are just going to redirect all the attacks to these characters who just are going to take either no damage or they're going to be guarding and blocking all the damage or just dodging everything, right? We literally have a thing for every single case scenario, so Beast Gohan is obviously really fun. Gammas is really fun. I do like the leader skill. I I honestly, like, uh, apart from, like, how it usually is for a lot of these any characters where I'm just like, hmm, actually, I don't know if I'm too fond of these guys. Uh, I, I genuinely cannot see a single thing wrong with any of these characters. All of the part ones were made pretty good. All of the part twos were made even better. Um, I, I don't think they're going to age out uh, as fast as, like, some of these other any characters have definitely for sure. Especially Beast Gohana, obviously. Like I said, Gammas is going to age really well just because of the fact that we are going to have that support for a very long time, and that's going to probably be one of the better supports for this team. But again, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, all of you were able to pull all of these characters during the anniversary. If not, I wish you luck on your next summons. Thank you all for making it this far. Hopefully, you guys have a great week. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.